everyone, it's Jay Foss back with another war video. This weekend we have Avengers and uh, lining up for hit number one. Actually, I'll flip this. All right, here we go. Come on, yellow. <laughs> that is not a lot of yellow. Now, I do have a blue diamond, so we'll take that. Or a blue connection, rather. Hmm. So not a bad combo to start, but no real addition of yellow. can do a blue or a red, but because I have no yellow, I kind of need yellow to come up. I can move this green to the right, and it would sort of set up at least two yellow vertically, but still not even a match. Still need to get lucky. I think I'll do the red. Still no help. So moving this to the left, we'll combo into the purple. Maybe yellow comes up, maybe blue comes up. Nothing, jeez. So... I may be able to get taunt up before morale fires, or before the left side fires, so I'll go and try to set that up. Hopefully this doesn't combo into Akarog. <clears throat> now, I have Equalizer coming. I'm going to go ahead and heal. Akrog's going to fire anyway. I'll make this little purple connection to go into Nullfod, and then I'll have Taunt synced up with Equalizer. Don't, don't, don't know. This happened to me the other week, too. <laughs> Gee. The combos. Okay, I have taunt for a few turns. Question is, do I want to set up a blue diamond and try to heal before everybody dies? Take the yellow connection now. I think I'll take... This yellow first. I will attack the non rogue side. I will get my blue diamond. Hopefully, Failing stays alive here. Now, this is going to clear. So. 
thinking about making this. Hmm. I'll do the safest one to get the heel. Now I have the yellow up top. That sends red into Octros though, but I could pop the diamond, but then I have a chance of leaving a ton of red on the board for Octros. Um, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take that. Didn't think it was gonna be that much, but it was. So can I pop the blue diamond without frig firing and without? Well, actually, I'll just pop this dragon and try to. Clear. So I'm going to target this side to hopefully kill. And I'll get taunt. I have to be careful here because how low is he? 108. I don't really want to accidentally set him off. So I think that's the safest move with less chance of combo. So now I have a well-timed taunt. Get my heal going, hopefully. I know I have the ghosted yellow, but I, I'm gonna take the opportunity for a big clear. I have taunt active. All right. Hit number one complete. All right. It's J Foss. I'm back. Going in for hit number two. It is equalizer, but, uh, I've used this in the past against minion teams and equalizer and it still worked pretty well. So going in, my healers are green and red to counter Octros and Frigg's mechanic. We will start here, I suppose. There's not a lot of purple, so... Still don't have nine purple on the board, so I'll go ahead and clear. <clears throat> All right, make sure I don't miss a potential. Play here. I do have two purple, at least. There's probably a third one I'm just not seeing yet.
We'll start there. Now I have to get Grimble out without a lacy hitting me. So that's a, the risk right here. Hopefully Grimble doesn't get hit. Although it's likely he probably will. That is going to be one short, one minion short on Alfric. So if I could get Hulda to fire here. I only have one, I'm only going to have one turn of mindless, but I think it'll be worth it if I can shut down Octros and uh, Thaline. Let's see what hits. It hit neither one of them. Okay. I'll go ahead and cast to prevent the mana. Of failing. I need to get going, but I also need to clear, so. I will go ahead and Let's see here. Take the red off the board for Octros. And just so I don't risk losing Onyx altogether, I'll go ahead and do that. Obviously need more purple to come up. And Onyx is dead. So I do have... I'll do this first. So there will be Equalizer, but... And get Garnet up to protect against Frigg, and then I'll fire. Well, I didn't even get charged anyway, so. But now I gotta go fast. Okay, I got a purple match at the bottom. Or will get a purple one. Hopefully, purple comes up. I did not. I know I have the match, but. So I'm going to make the green first, actually, because if she, well. Yeah, I need to heal if she hits the right side. Oh, that little hit at the end was devastating. Slash attack at the end. And that'll do it. That little slash attack got me. Shit. Well, that's over. So...
All right, he's going to try to shake off that last hit and hopefully recover on the third. See, we have a decent amount of green. Seeing if I can have a shot at a blue diamond here. I think I'll pull this up and see. Okay. So I'm going to get equalized here. So I'll wait on the taunt. I'll actually pop the blue first because I'd prefer to get another three match of green than pop the green diamond. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get the three match. Gotta be aware of equalizer here too. I think, yeah, I'll pop the green. It should have everybody fire while Krampus is taunts up. So for almost everybody. I will just simply clear this side, hopefully. Because if Octros revives here, I got a lot of red on the board. Okay, he did revive. Popping the purple diamond has potential to clear a bunch of red by making a red diamond. So I'll do that. It's still a bunch of red on the board, though. Okay. I will... Probably lose Krampus, but... Well, actually, I can pop this dragon and maybe get Frost up. Not get comboed into Morel. Take the ghost to green. Sets up a green there. Number three done. All right, he hit number four. Hopefully, we can get some yellow tiles. Okay. don't have a lot of moves on the board. I can basically, I think the only ones I have is to making that vertical green and the, or the horizontal green at the top. So I'll make the horizontal one. And again, not, <laughs> I hate boards like this. So I really only have like one move I can actually make. But if I make this downward, it'll bring the red up and then maybe I can move the red to bring a yellow up the next turn. 
I'll wait one turn on Toxicondra. I really could use a yellow to come up though. That would help a ton. Let's see if there's, I know I have the dragon. I'll likely make the dragon. Go and get Toxicondra's mana going. Oh, that scene came so close to killing him. Okay, so I'm gonna get hit decently hard here. If I can pop that dragon and charge the other two yellow heroes. I will kill... <clears throat> Morale. Now those yellow tiles into Morale might make kill him and I could get a good hit on Thaline as well. But then I'd lose one ghosted. It's not going to kill her. Actually, like failing to fire before Frig, or and I think this will do that and clear green off the board. Go ahead and heal. Start on this side now. Go and take these six purple. Hopefully, get no fod going. Okay, got no fod going. Go and hopefully, kill the Lu Luenya. I'm gonna risk the one tile there. The one tile kill. Okay. So basically just ghost and see what we can do. I'll go ahead and get the mana going of Toxicondra, and these two should do it there. Charge up White Rabbit. I'll just pop it. Take green off the board for Frig. I'll save this heal, just in case. Alright, that hit's done. Alrighty, lining up hit number five.
Okay, I have a couple red. They're spread out. I don't have a ton of blue. So I can get to a yellow diamond, which is what I'm going to attempt to do. Because I didn't really have any red. I still don't have a ton of red. <clears throat> I'll pop the yellow diamond. I'll cascade into green. I'll cascade into red. And I'll finally have a red match. So I'm looking how I can get another red match without putting the tiles into Zeneca. Now I know I can get there, but it's going to be tiles into Zeneca either way. Let's see if there's another way. There is. I can go directly into kill hair with these blue and then the red. Now I want Lepus to fire very soon because of the reflect, so I'm gonna cut that side. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and force fire Lepus. Take the blue to get a heal off Liz. It's possible Zeneca could kill two people. Manipulate red by popping the diamond. And he's going to fire not this turn, but the next turn anyway. So let's go and do that. Got lucky on my right side. Or left side. Alrighty, going in for final hit against a slightly wounded team. some blues so that's good have a chance to make a blue diamond seeing if I can flip that from a chance to a sure thing but either way it'll give me at least two matches I got the mana slow. So kind of messed me up a little bit there. Go ahead and block the mana generation. And I'll go ahead and fire Lepus even 
Now that was a stupid use of Grizzle because it's going to get equalized, but I'll go ahead and fire Lepus. Now the problem with popping the diamond here is that I will, uh, once the lacy mana cuts, I have nothing on the board, so I'll just take these green into a lassie and then pop it after. Okay. Two tiles on Nolfod and then a red tile that should be enough. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. Well, let's copy. Hmm. Yeah, let's copy the defense down. Let's see, 176. I think I'd rather hit this side even though there's a rogue and a fighter because that's where I'm gonna have to ghost to get green. But the other side has a rogue anyway as well. But my next move would be bringing that purple down to get a green connection, so. Or I could try the right side. But this side has two people that are about to fire. The right side only has one. So hopefully it kills Frigg. Now I didn't kill Frigg, but I can take some green off the board. I will be taking a slight risk here to basically hoping Zhang Fei does not hit Albrecht. And honestly, I'll be I don't really want to take the blue yet either because that mana gen is going to clear, but I also don't want to <coughs> um mess up my blue match, so I'll do this, and that's okay, that's fine. Alrighty, final hit done. They are going to defeat us. It was not as close as we hoped. They did really well, and we struggled with Hulda, quite honestly, a bit. And uh, 258, so it's okay. Alright, thanks for watching.